Hey everyone, welcome back to the final episode of 2022 on the Happy Way podcast. Today we are going to be wrapping up season one of the podcast and I just wanted to say how incredibly grateful I am for every single one of you who have joined in, listened, commented, shared the podcast with your family and friends. It honestly means so much to us. At Happy Way, we are all about the good vibes, sharing love, health and happiness and being able to do that on the podcast has been an incredible journey so far. Now this year we have had some amazing guests on the show from nutritionists to dietitians to relationship counsellors to marketing experts, you name it, anything you can think of that we've you know wanted to talk about, about health, wellness, happiness and building a life that you love, we have had them and it has been so amazing. So Just to keep you in the loop, we are going to take a little break just over the festive season and the new year to kind of regroup and create some really magical episodes for next year. So we have a lot in the works. I'm not going to spill the beans, but um, stay tuned because we have some amazing episodes and some incredible guests coming up on the Happy Way podcast next year for season two. So stay tuned. Now, before I wrap up this last episode of the year, it wouldn't be me to not give out a bit of advice and a bit of love to help you kind of end the year on a bang. So I thought what I'd do is quickly share just three little tips to help you end this year the best way possible with a bang and head into the new year feeling fresh, happy and vibrant. So Tip number one is just enjoy the festive season. So enjoy these next few weeks. Enjoy having some downtime. Enjoy taking care of yourself and just kind of, you know, marveling in the festive period. I think a lot of the time we don't hear that tip. A lot of people are like, okay, start planning, start doing. Where it's like, you know what? You just need to slow down, enjoy and just marvel in the festive period. Enjoy your family and friends. Enjoy the food. Enjoy the fun. Enjoy the weather. Whatever it is. So that's my first tip. Second tip is write a gratitude list. I want you to grab your journal and I want you to write down all the things that you are grateful for that happened to you in 2022. We are always so focused on what to do next, what's coming, what I need to work on, that we often forget how much we've grown and how much we've actually done. And a whole year, a lot can happen in a year. So one of the activities that I love doing at the end of the year, you know, I'll I'll go down to the beach, I'll, you know, relax. I'll take my little protein shake with me and I'll sit there and I'll go through each month of the year and I will think back and I'll try and remember one significant thing that happened that I feel really grateful for and I'll write it down and then I'll read it and there's 12 whole months of gratitude that you can look back on and think whoa like this year was amazing I'm feeling good I'm feeling grateful what a beautiful experience and look how much I've grown that's my second tip and my third tip third yep this is probably one that you want to do maybe in the new year you know as we head into Jan but it's setting some goals it's creating a bit of direction for what you want in your life in 2023 and creating those intentions. One of the things that I love doing is creating a vision board. I'm a very visual person. So for me, part of my goal setting for the start of the year is adding to and creating a vision board of things that I want. And then I will write down in my journal different areas of my life and set some goals. So for example, I'll have a category for fitness. I'll have a category for business. I'll have a category for mindfulness and self-development and I'll write my goals and then I'll make a plan. So it's just a really nice way to kind of get into the groove of things after you've had a really nice break, after you've relaxed, you felt gratitude for the year that you've had and now you're ready to move forward. So take those three tips in. I hope they help you to kind of end this year with a bang and head into the new year feeling amazing and ready for the biggest year of your life. Now, a big thank you again to everyone who's tuned in and I cannot wait to see you next year. We have so much ready for you. It's going to be big. So stay tuned. Sending so much love to you all. You know how grateful I am for each and every one of you. I hope you have loved every episode. So have a great Christmas. Have an awesome new year and we can't wait to see you soon. Bye guys.